Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So today we are on another adventure with Small Scale, our young female Campto here. Looks like she's doing a little bit of exploring. Uh oh, careful, don't fall off that cliff there. Yeah, she's definitely looking for something. So Campdos are uh, basically social little creatures and they don't like being out by themselves a whole lot. Um, so since we pretty much started out on our own other than the few predators that we've encountered, I think she's definitely ready to find somewhere safe, be part of a group, um, maybe even a large herd that could help shelter her for protection in exchange for uh, her little Campto services, such as being a lookout, an alarm. Uh, Camptos are also really helpful when it comes to like helping the larger dinosaurs pick off bugs, or like if they step on a rock, like in between their toe, or just some little things like that. They're really good at um, being little groomers as well. All right, so it looks like we're back here at Spine Lizard Lagoon. And she's definitely looking for something. Maybe something has picked up her interest over here. And she's gotta be very careful because this was a dangerous area last time we were here. There was a Megalania, one of the large lizard predators. So she's carefully moving from bush to bush. But something's definitely got her interest. Oh, there's stegos over there. That's what she was looking at. Finally, a group to Oh, there's something else over there in the trees. Some type of carnivore. So she's got to be very careful. But she also needs to not just rush up on the stegos either while most stegos do tolerate a, a little herbivore such as a campto it's always best to play it safe so she starts out by sending a couple of calls looks like they're responding back to her okay she's gonna go ahead and get a little bit closer uh oh that stego's charging at something yep She's trying to stay in the grass as much as possible, but she really wants to get in good with this stego herd. She only has two options at this point. Either the herd accepts her and she can move on, or she's gonna get eaten by whatever this is behind us. So you better make your decision here pretty quick. Oh no, look out! Oh no. It's like the Metri bitter and she's Poisoned. Everything's kind of blurring together. Thankfully, the stegos aren't attacking her. Gosh, that poison's gotta hurt. That Metri's still after her, so she's her only hope is to get in with the stegos and have the stegos protect her. And the stegos have their own baby as well, it looks like. Ooh, a baby who's been injured. Poor little thing. So she's doing good by placing herself, herself in between the stegos, but oh no, why are we hiding in the grass? She's going to, she could risk getting stomped, but that's just instinct trying to hide and be less seen. Gosh, she's still alive though. Thankfully she backs out of the bush. Looks like the Metri's heading off. That's good. Oh, there's a Spino. He doesn't seem too interested in the stego herd. Oh, they're starting to kind of help defend her a little bit. All right. So she's not being chased off. Looks like the stego herds accepted her. So now she's got a safe group to travel with for a little bit. Yeah, 
Yeah, that poison bite was awful. So she's probably still feeling a little bit woozy from getting attacked. She's picking up a mushroom. She's going to carry that with her. Camptos like to pick up and collect things as they go. Alright, looks like they've made some good distance in between um, themselves and the carnivores. Where are the stegos off to? Oh no, you better keep, keep up. Don't get left behind. They're still calling out to her. Maybe she felt that they were leaving or trying to... Oh no, they just smelled some plants. It's like they all have these flowers in their mouths. But the grass stalks. She finds these red gingers as a great snack, but she's going to go ahead and take one and gobble it down. There's another baby stego. Where did you come from? So it looks like they're accepting the new baby into the herd. Camto's gonna. She's gonna go ahead and take a nap. Oh, the baby stego's coming over to say hi. Oh, woke her up. <laughs> Everybody's getting along. But this is great for our Camto. So she's feeling more comfortable. She is, looks like she's currently picking off some pests, bugs or ants that she has noticed on one of the adult Stego's legs. She's just fulfilling her Camto duties. Helps take care of the herd, keep them clean. And that's just one of her ways of showing appreciation for being allowed in their group that way she can get some protection as well very carefully she goes and picks the bugs out between the uh, spikes at the end of the stego's tail she's got to be careful doing that this stego was hard to clean looked like it had been bitten recently and there was still a lot of dried blood on its scales Oh no, now's not a good time to shake. Thankfully she had ducked and avoided getting slapped in the face by one of the spike, uh, tail spikes there. And it looks like the stego herd is off again. While she does enjoy being with the stego herd, she still feels like there's something missing. It's getting to the point in time where it'd be close uh, for her to choose to have a family or not. However, we have not encountered any other Camptos in this area. She's been the only one. But she's definitely enjoying her time with the stegos. Some peace. And quiet. Well, not so much quiet because everybody's snorting and grunting and stomping around, but it's better than having to face off carnivores all the time. Okay. 
Looks like the stegos are bedding down for a nap. Well, after nap time, she awoke and found that the stegos had moved on without her, so she is on her own again. Oh, there's one, but the rest of the group is nowhere to be found. But something else catches her eye. A small little den. In her mind, she thinks this would be a perfect place to raise a little Camto family. All right, everyone. Well, thanks for hanging out and watching this episode of Walking with Dinosaurs. And we'll be seeing you again next time. Bye, everyone.